So uh, today's class is called Organize Your Energy. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because we'll be flowing in fun new ways. Let's get started on our back. And feel free if you have any questions um, during class or after class, just pop them in the message box. So go ahead and lie down. Knees bent, feet are flat on the floor. And feet are about hip distance apart so that when you look at those thighs, they're parallel. Feel the sacrum on the floor. And let's just take our hands to the low belly and feel the hands kind of just move up and down with your breath. So when you exhale, your hands come together a little bit more like they're interlacing together like a puzzle piece. And then on your inhales, they kind of expand apart. So focus on the breath here. And feel this expansion and contraction. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Two more, just like that. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in and exhale. Good. Keep that exhale. Feel the abdominals pull together. And start to dial on those glutes and lift the hips two to three inches off the floor. So we're staying low in this low bridge. That's why it's called low bridge, right? We're not lifting our hips extremely high. We're just staying low to help organize this energy in the pelvis. This is the center of our mass. This is the center of how we choose to move every single day. And we want it to be organized so that everything above and below it can be happy. So feel those glutes, maybe tap them, check in with them. Hey, is this thing on, right? And then from here, feel these front part of your pelvic points. So find your hip bones and just take your fists onto them and just press down lightly. So your glutes have something to press against. So your fists are pressing down and your hips are pressing up. If you feel this in your knees, walk your feet a little bit further away. And if you're feeling this in the low back, feel free to just stay lower in the low bridge. And then from here, reach the hands up towards the ceiling. Let's just stretch out the wrists really quick. Pull the right fingers back by taking your left hand across the right palm and reach the right thumb away from all the other fingers. Good, the hamstring should be feeling it right now too. Go ahead and stretch out the left wrist. Keep breathing. Yes, good job, Angela. Keep using those glutes. Ah, last breath. And then take your hands to the thighs and lower the upper back, middle back, and low back, still drawing down through that low belly. From here, go ahead and take the knees over the hips, trying to find the sacrum on the floor. So where is that? Find it and try to like glue it to the floor. It's not going to move. Bring the hands behind the head. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, lift your head and shoulders off of the mat. Good. So feel that energy in the low belly organized and drawing down. And then extend the left leg. Maybe try to spread the toes. Yes, your toes are part of the energy too. Bend the left knee. Inhale, lower the head and shoulders. Exhale, come up. Go ahead and straighten that right leg. Try to spread your right toes apart. Look at them to help. Low, bend the right knee. Inhale, lower the head and shoulders. Exhale, come up. Straight in the left leg, and let's internally rotate this right knee. So the knee stays where it is, but then the right ankle kind of kicks out. 
Good. Draw down through that low belly. And then bring the knee back to center. Bend the left knee. Lower the head and shoulders. Exhale. Come up. Straighten the right leg. And bring that left knee into internal rotation. Notice if it gets stuck. Draw down through that low belly. Good. Bring it back to center. Bend the right knee. Inhale. Lower the head and shoulders. Exhale. Come up. Good. Straighten the left leg. This time we're going to bring the right knee into external rotation. So tap your right toe to your left calf. So now you see the inside of this right thigh. Hold it together. Bring it back to center. Bend the knee. Inhale, lower down. Let's do the other side. Exhale, come up. Right leg straightens. Tap the left toe to the right calf. External rotation, kind of like a tree pose. Bring it back to center. Bend the right knee. Inhale, lower down. And let's do that one more time and combine it. Exhale, come up. Straighten the left leg. Bring the right knee into internal rotation. And then tap the right toe to the left calf. One more time, internal rotation. And then tap it behind the left calf. Bring it back to center. Inhale, lower down. So we're keeping that pelvis neutral. Exhale, come up. As we add movement in our legs, straighten the right leg. Internal rotation on the left leg. Tap the calf, or sorry, tap the toe behind the right calf. Internal rotation. Oof. Tap it behind the calf. Bring the knee back to normal. Bend both knees. Lower down. Give yourself a hug. Go ahead. That looks great. Ah. All right. From here, go ahead and make your way onto your hands and knees for quadruped. By now, you know the drill, right? We're getting warm in the reset. I'm already warm. I don't know about where you live, but in the Midwest, we've had a heat wave. And the sun has been shining for three days, so it's nice. <laughs> and it makes for a warmer practice. Hands under the shoulders. Knees are a little bit closer to your hands than you're used to. So maybe you walk them in a little bit. Maybe you think under your hips is a little bit further away. So feel strong here. This is where the organizing starts. We're against gravity. From here, extend this left leg. Feel that core work. We worked hard on it. And then lift the left toes off the ground as you bend the left knee. So hold here. Try not to let that right hip fall to the right. And we're going to do internal and external rotation here like we did in our abdominals. So imagine there's a bowl of soup on your back and you don't want it to move. We're going to bring the left leg into external rotation and then tap the left knee to the right calf. Inhale, external rotation, and then tap the calf. Feel free to also do this on your forearms if needed, if your wrists are a little bit more sensitive today, or you can do it on your fists. Good, keep drawing up in that low belly. Good, and then hold it into external rotation. Go ahead and lower onto your right forearm if you weren't already, and just pulse that left knee up towards the ceiling in external rotation. Woo, let it burn. <laughs> and then bring the left knee down and come up onto your hands. Wiggle your tailbone, and let's do the other side. Extend the left right leg back. Fire that glute. That's the first most important step. If you need to stay here, this is where you can stay. Otherwise, bend that right knee. And let's open the right knee up to the right. And then tap it to the left calf. Open it to the right. And then tap it to the left calf. Ha! Keep that head lifted. Yes, Angela, that looks great. Keep it up, Paul. Last one. Hold it into external rotation. Lower that left elbow to the floor and just pulse. 
the outer part of your right thigh towards the ceiling. Good. Draw up in that low belly. That looks great. And then bring the right knee down. Come back up onto that left hand. Wag your tail. Whew. Here we go. Lower to the elbows. You know where we're going. Going into dolphin. Interlace the fingers. Elbows are under the shoulders. So I grab opposite elbows to make sure they're under the shoulders and then interlace the fingers. Take a breath in and on your exhale, go ahead and tuck that chin, lift up in the upper back and lift the hips and knees into dolphin. Feel that there's a bounciness quality to your legs. You don't want them to be locked out. Ha! Huh. And then from here, we're just gonna lift and lower the heels. So keeping the knees bent, we're going to really push up into those toes, shifting weight into the shoulders and then lowering the heels to the ground. So go ahead and do a few more of these, lifting up into the low belly. I'm just gonna hang out here. Good, last one. And then let's bring those feet to be hip distance apart if they weren't already, and then push up onto your hands and walk them back into happy squat. So walk them back towards your feet, Really sit back in the hips here, bend the knees. And then interlace your fingers and rest your forehead on your thumbs. So you're kind of creating a little pillow for your head. Drawing up in that low belly. Find space, return to your breath. Are the puzzle pieces fitting together? And then use the glutes to come up to stand. And let's come into Tadasana. Top of the mat. From here, I'm going to turn on the music. <laughs> and let's go into Sun Sail One. So here, this is part of the energy process. Part of the way we move is how we're stacked. So as you're standing here in Tadasana, can you feel your ears over your shoulders? Can you feel the shoulders stacked over the hips? And then the hips over the ankles. If not, kind of shift your weight around. And then from this position, on your inhale, reach the arms forward and then upwards. Your tall breath is expansive. On the exhale, sit back in the hips as you bring the hands to the floor. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, right leg steps back. Lower the right knee underneath the right hip. And then inhale, lift the torso above the hips. Arms reach up and interlace the fingers. Push your fist upwards towards the ceiling and feel that the front and the back side of your body is pulling together as you reach your fist upwards. That right glute is firing. Good, that looks great, Paul. Keep drawing in the low belly. And then on your exhale, hands come down to the mat underneath the shoulder, step back into high plank. Lower your knees, lower as slow as you can to the floor. Don't let your head drop. Inhale, lift the heart, shoulder blades squeeze together. They are puzzle pieces too, feel them draw in. On your exhale, push the ground away. Keep that puzzle together as you lift up and back into down dog. Step forward with your right foot, lower the left knee underneath the left hip. Inhale, arms reach up, interlace the fingers and push that fist upwards. Find space, draw that belly in. Really root your tailbone down towards that left calf. On the exhale, hands come to the floor, step forward. Engage the glutes, come up to stand, arms reach up. Exhale, sit in the hips. Step the left foot back, lower the left knee. Maybe you keep the toes curled under and then lift up. From here, left hand to the front of the belly, right hand to the back on top of that sacrum. Feel that these two areas pull together. So the puzzle pieces aren't just on the front 
side of the body or the back, but it can also go between both sides. So feel this energy draw together. Keep that energy there as you bring the hands down and step back into plank. Feel that your hands are still there. Lower the knees, lower to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra, shoulders draw together. Exhale, push the ground away as you lift up and back into down dog. From here, step the left foot forward, lower the right knee, but keep the toes curled under as you lift the torso. Right hand in front, left hand in back. Draw the puzzle pieces together. Organize your energy. Right glute fires. Good, and yeah, as you pull it, can you even try to lift your ribs out of your pelvis? Exhale, hands come down, step forward. Use the glutes, come up to stand, inhale. Going into the first sequence, exhale, sit back. <sighs> Hands come down, step the right foot back. Lower the right knee. Inhale, arms reach up. Right arm stays up, but the left one comes behind the back to help reach this right glute to the floor and reach the right hand in the opposite direction. Find space here in the right side body. Last breath in. On your exhale, bring the right hand to the floor or a block. As you lift the right knee off the floor, twist your chest to the left. Left hand stays behind the back. And let your right ear fall to the right shoulder. Feel that you have strength in all three of these points on the ground. Your left leg, your right hand, your right toes, and how they all fit together. From here, lower the right knee back to the floor, and then slide the left leg towards the back of the mat. For modified side plank, left arm reaches up. You can stay here or lift the left leg. Left arm can reach ooh, away from the toes. Stay here or on your exhale, keep this main core of your puzzle piece <laughs> together as you bring the elbow and knee together. <sighs> Inhale, stretch them far away from each other. Pull them in. <sighs> Good, inhale, reach them apart. Exhale, last one, pull them in and reach them apart. Good, from here, bring the left hand down, the left toes down as you step into plank. Feel that the hands are on the front side of the core and the back side of your back drawing together. And then let's lift the hips up and back into down dog, keeping that energy there. Inhale, shift forward into plank. Exhale into down dog and just do a few of these back and forth. Feel that it's natural to bend your knees. <sighs> Last one forward and backwards and then walk the hands back into happy squat. Interlace your fingers and bring the thumbs to the third eye. Recollect your breath here. That looks great, Ellen. Use those glutes to come up to stand and reach your fist upwards as we do our flamingo walks. So right knee comes into the chest, balancing. Right foot comes down, left knee comes in. Left foot comes down. Last one, right knee comes in. Step it down and reach the hands back as you sit back into airplane. Left hand to the front part of your belly, right hand to the back. Feel the front and back draw together. Maybe it makes it harder, that's okay. Ah. And then bring the left next to the right. Inhale, come up to stand, arms reach up. Exhale, sit back in the hips, hands come down. Step the left foot back this time. So we're just repeating what we just did on the other side. Inhale, arms reach up, left arm stays up, right arm comes behind the back. 
breathe into this left side as you reach the left arm higher. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Last one. And on your exhale, left hand comes down underneath the left shoulder. Keep the right arm behind the back as you lift the left knee off the floor. Twisted crescent, opening the chest to the right. Left glute is firing for you. Maybe let the left ear drop to the left shoulder. And here we go, lower the left knee underneath the left hip. Slide the right leg towards the back of the mat. Left hand underneath the left shoulder. Right arm can reach up over the right ear as you lift the right leg. Good, organize that energy. Hold it together. Ooh. As you pull the elbow to the knee, which is optional. Inhale, reach them apart. Try to make this as little wobbly as you can. Pull it in. Reach it apart. You have two more. Pull it in. Reach it apart. Last one. Pull it in. Reach it apart and then bring the right hand down, the right toes down. You're in plank. Lift the hips up and back. Down dog. Shift forward into plank. Draw in through that low belly to help you lift up into down dog. Two more. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Last one. Inhale. Here we go. Walk it back to happy squat. Walk those hands back. Interlace the fingers. Bring them to your forehead. Breathe into the back body, those back ribs. Use the glutes to help you come up to stand. Reach your fist upwards. Left knee pulls into the chest as you step it forward towards the front of the mat. Right knee pulls into the chest. Step it forward. Last one. Left knee comes up. Step the left foot down as the right leg reaches back. Hands come back for warrior three. Right hand in front, left hand on the back. Feel the two areas draw together. <sighs> Go ahead and then step the right foot down next to the left. Come up to stand. Shake it out. Good. Okay, here we go. Let's do, what time is it? Okay, we're doing good. Let's do some sun sal A's. Hopefully you're getting warm. Grab some water if you need to. I might talk you through this. I'll show you one of them. It's going to be the same thing two more times after that. So top of the mat, feet are hip distance apart. On your inhale, arms reach forward and up. On your exhale, sit back in the hips, hands come down. Inhale, step or jump back into high plank. Exhale, you can stay here. You can lower your knees and lower to the floor. You can do a full chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra like we did at the beginning of class or full up dog like seen here. Exhale, core engages you to help you lift your hips up and back into down dog. Hold here, take a breath in. And at the bottom of your exhale, step or jump towards your hands. Feel free to do these faster or slower. You have two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, step or jump back into high plank. Exhale, you can lower to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra or full up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath in. Let it out through your mouth. <sighs> and at the bottom of your exhale, step or jump towards your hands. Inhale, come on up. One more, exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, step or jump back into high plank. Exhale, you can lower full chaturanga or lower your knees and lower down. Inhale, baby cobra. 
Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Bounce around, shake your head, yes and no. Blubber your lips. Whatever feels good to kind of let go. And from here on your inhale, lift the left leg to the height of the left hip. So look back at those left toes and try to spread them in all directions. Make sure all five face downwards. And on your exhale, pick up in your low belly to help you step that left leg forward and come up into crescent lunge. From here, this is the trickiest pose of today's flow. So feel yourself be upright here and then shift your weight into the left leg to cross your right over the left for eagle pose. Go ahead. And what you're gonna do here is bring the right leg behind you in internal rotation like a curtsy squat. So I'm gonna show you from this angle. So I'm crossing and then I'm bringing it behind me, hovering those toes off the floor. And then you'll bring it back into eagle pose. So you can use your hands wherever you want to. I like to keep them on my core, but we're bringing the leg into eagle, which is external rotation, and then bringing it behind, which is an internal rotation. So this is hard. Last one, bring it behind, and then bring the right fingertips to the floor as you slowly lower your butt to the floor, turn to the left. So my legs are crossed. When you look at them, the left leg is on top. You can also kick the right leg out if you need to. And let's keep this organized. Still left hand to the ground, right arm reaches up and over side bend. You can let the head go with it. Inhale, engage the core up to center. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. Good, one more each side, inhale, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, right arm down. Good. And then from here, let's turn to the right, so back towards that front of the mat. Step back into high plank, lower down. Inhale, locust pose, arms reach back towards those legs, the legs lift. Back of the neck is long here, glutes are on, core is helping support the low back. Good, and then on your exhale, hands come underneath the shoulders, push up and back and sit down dog. Let's do the other side, right leg lifts to the height of the right hip. So look back at those right toes, spread the toes. Our feet get crammed into shoes so much that our toes forget how to spread. And then step the right foot forward. Come up into crescent lunge. Ha! Feeling organized here. Your core is helping you to stack the shoulders over the hips. And then going into that eagle pose. So cross the left leg over the right. Ha! And then bring it behind you into that curtsy squat. Ooh, notice if this side is harder. Cross it on top. And then bring it behind you. Yes, good job, Angela. Good job, Paul. Keep pushing through that base of your big toe. Don't fall to the outer edge of your foot. You got one more after this. It's hard. Last one. Remember, from here, we're going into seated twist. So the left leg comes behind and slowly lower to the floor as you turn to the right. That right leg is ending up on top. I'll just turn to face you. You can kick that left leg out if you want to. Right hand to the ground, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, engage that core to help lift you up. Exhale, left hand comes down, right arm up and over. So can you keep your energy organized in the core to help stretch everything around it. One more each side, right arm down, left arm reaches up. Good, center, left arm over, right arm. Left arm down, right arm reaches up and over. Good, inhale up, go ahead and turn to the left. Hands come down, step back into high plank. 
lower to the floor. Inhale, locust. Reach the arms up, back towards the legs. Squeeze those glutes, use your core. Maybe you flutter your legs like you're swimming. And then on your exhale, push the ground away as you lift up and back into down dog. Take a breath in and on your exhale, step or jump towards your hands. Inhale, reach the arms up, sit the hips back, Utkatasana. Feel the energy draw in. Feel equal weight in the front and the back of your foot. Yes, good job, Angela. On your exhale, hands come down. Inhale, step or jump back into high plank. We're gonna do a little sun cell one. Exhale, lower to the floor or lower your knees. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts to the height of the left hip. Exhale, step that left foot forward. Inhale, lift up into warrior one. Exhale, lower. A little bit of cardio. Step back into high plank. Lower to the floor. Remember that these chaturangas are optional. You don't have to do all of them. You can just go into down dog. That's how you can modify your practice. Right leg lifts. Exhale, draw in that low belly as you step the right foot forward. Lower the left heel. Arms reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Step back into high plank. You can do a chaturanga or like me, meet me in down dog. This time as we step forward, we'll come into half moon. So let's start on the right side first. Lift the right leg. Exhale, step the right foot halfway to your hands. As you lift the left leg and open your hip up to the left. Keep a softness to that right knee. You can use the left hand on the low belly to help gently draw it in. And then lower for ooh, warrior two. Take a breath in. On your exhale, reverse your warrior, but bring your left hand to the low belly as the right arm reaches up. So helping it draw in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, your right hand comes behind the back as you reach the left arm up and over to help engage that left glute. Good. From here, go ahead and turn your torso to the floor. Bring your fingertips down. Step your back foot in halfway. So we're setting up for pyramid. You can use two blocks here if you need them. Both knees are bent. Think flat spine here. <sighs> Draw in that low belly. Try to pull your hands back towards your toes. Good. Last breath and then go ahead. This is a fun transition move, but you guys have been with me for long enough. We're going to lower the hands and then as you lift the right leg, lower your elbows to the floor for dolphin. So that right leg is in the air and just lower and lift that left heel. Modification is having both feet down and lowering and lifting both heels. Last but not least, modification is quadruped. Good. Bring both feet down, lower the knees. Come up onto the hands, cat cow, inhale. Exhale, round the spine, cat pose. <sighs> inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Lift up and back into down dog, woo! Let's do it all again on the other side. Step the left foot forward into half moon. Lift the right leg as you open the hips up to the right. Right hand can come to that low belly to help you draw it in. It's just a helpful reminder. And then let's come into warrior two. Ha! So my hips face forward. 
that tailbone is drawing down. Feel your feet pushing in opposite directions. Good, as you reverse your warrior, right hand comes to the low belly, lift the left arm up and over. Inhale, center. Exhale, left arm behind the back as the right arm reaches up and over. One more. Reverse, right hand to low belly, left arm reaches up and over. Come up, exhale, left arm behind the back, right arm reaches over. Look down towards that left big toe, bring both fingertips to the floor. Step your right foot in halfway, pyramid pose. Both knees are bent. While you're here, try to really pull your fingertips towards your back toes. Good, draw in that low belly. And then from here, going into dolphin, hands lower, lift that left leg. Dolphin, you can lower and lift that right heel to put more weight into the shoulders. You also don't have to do it, you can be in down dog. One more breath. And then lower the left toes, lower the knees. Come up onto the hands, cat cow, inhale. Exhale, shimmy the ribs. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> One more. Inhale before we go into our big moves. Exhale. <sighs> and then step towards the front of your mat, however you want to. Come up to stand. And we'll put it all together. So if you've never taken my class before, this is the spiel I always give. You can do everything like we just did it, or you can add on to it. So depending on how your energy is feeling, how your puzzle pieces are laying together, um, will depend on how much you do in this next segment. And then after, we're going to have the best Shavasana ever. <laughs> so here we go. Organize your energy. Pause before we start moving. Feel if you're stacked a little bit differently now. We've moved things, we've engaged things. Take a breath in. Let it out through the mouth. Oh, here we go. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, sit back in those hips as you bring the hands to the floor. Inhale, step the right foot back, lower the right knee. Inhale, hands come up. So as you reach them up, feel the echo of our hands drawing in towards each other. On your exhale, hands come to heart center. Take a small twist to the left. Inhale, come to center. Feel this right glute fire. Hello. Exhale, twist to the left, hold. And maybe you bring the right elbow to the left thigh. If it doesn't make it, that's okay. Just hold this twist here. From here, curl the right toes under and lift up into twisted prayer crescent. Even harder, stay here or hover your right toes off of the floor challenging that standing leg. Push through the base of the left big toe. Use that right glute. Good, then go ahead, lower the right toes. Bring the right hand down, reach the left arm up. Maybe you straighten the left leg for twisted, um, twisted triangle. Good, gaze looks at that left big toe. From here, exhale, left hand comes down. Lift the left leg up into three-legged down dog. So remember that pose we did, we were doing plank to down dog. This time we're gonna do it with one leg. So you can still do plank to down dog or you can keep a leg lifted. Inhale, shift forward into one-legged plank. Exhale, lift up into three-legged down dog. Shift forward, keep your puzzle pieces together. Lift back. One more, shift forward. Bring it back, 
Left toes come down. Walk the hands back towards the feet for happy squat. Ooh, if you weren't sweating, you probably are now. Interlace those fingers. Bring them to your hairline. Let your tongue release from the roof of your mouth. Let an exhale out. Inhale, go ahead and reach that fist upwards. Pull the left knee in. This stays the same. Lower the left knee, right knee comes in. Good. Last one, left knee comes in. Send the left leg back. Airplane pose. Hands come behind you. Good, you can stay here or bring the hands to the floor for a standing L. So hands are underneath the shoulders. You can stay here or you can hop off that right leg for handstand hops. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> From here, inhale, lift up, pull the left knee into the chest, put the left foot down, bring the right knee into the chest, Cross the right leg over the left as you sit back into eagle pose. So we're at this point, right? Right leg is crossed over left. And then bring it behind you ooh, for that curtsy. So this isn't changing either. Right leg crosses on top. And then bring it behind. Last one. Cross it on top, then bring it behind. And then come down to that seated twist. Left leg is on top. Right leg can kick out if you need it to. Let's do some barrel rolls here. Pull the ribs in, kind of like we're circling the ribs, circling the head in one direction. And then go the other direction. Good, and let's turn back to the front of the mat, to the right. Hands land, step back into high plank. Lower to the floor. Locust or bow. You can reach back for those legs. You can also bend the knees and grab the ankles. Take a breath in. Use those glutes. And then push up and back into down dog and immediately step the left leg halfway to your hands as you come up into half moon. You can reach the right arm up and over your ear. Walk. Good. You can stay here or you can do two of these. Pull the elbow to the knee. Reach it away. Elbow to the knee. Reach it away and then warrior two. Reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Look down at that left big toe. And then turn your chest to the floor for pyramid. So feet are on two separate planes or wider. From here, you can turn your feet inwards. So kind of like you're spinning your thighs inwards. So it looks like your feet are pigeon toeing inwards. If it affects the knees, don't do it. Ha. Draw up into that low belly. And then here we go, last pose, lower the hands, lower the elbows as you lift the left leg up for dolphin. You can do hop switches here, or you can push off the toes if you practice forearm balance. And then we'll all end up in cat cow. So take your time. And when you're in cat cow here, let's barrel roll the ribs too. Kind of like in a corkscrew fashion, like on a roller coaster. <sighs> And go the other direction. Congratulations, you did one side. <laughs> ah. Yeah, good job. And then in your own way, step towards the front of the mat. Come up to stand. Shake it loose. Do a little dance. And we're going to do the other side. So get a drink. Give yourself a mental high five. Cause we're gonna whew, rip into it. 
on this side. Here we go. Inhale, arms reach up, feel stacked. Exhale, sit into those hips. The cause, the, the effect of sitting back in the hips naturally makes the knees bend. Step with the left foot back. Lower the left knee, keep the toes curled under. Arms reach up. Feel that echo, left glute on. Feel that your hands are, right? We have a second set of hands. They're pulling us in. Hands come to heart center. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right and hold. Left elbow can touch the right thigh. Or you can just hang out here with me. Lift the left knee. Stay here or hover the left toes off of the floor. I'm going to keep my foot on the ground because that's where I'm happy. Hmm. And then go ahead and bring the left hand to the floor. Right arm reaches up. Left toes are on the ground as well. Straighten the right leg. Twisted triangle. Find space. Try not to round your back. Last breath in. On your exhale, right hand comes down. Here we go. Right leg comes up into three-legged down dog. You have this to one-legged plank, or you can do regular plank to regular down dog. Shift forward, one-legged plank. Exhale, down dog. You have two more. Shift forward into plank. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Forward, one-legged plank. Exhale, walk it back, happy squat. This is our nice break. You can rest your forehead on your fist. Kind of your elbows are pushing into the shins. Use your glutes. If you feel like this is a stretch in the low back, you can bring it up or just squeeze your glutes more. Come on up. Reach the fist upwards, right knee comes into the chest. Then the left knee comes into the chest. Right knee comes into the chest, and then send that right leg back into airplane as the hands come back. You can use them on your low belly and the sacrum to kind of help keep the mojo there. Yeah, that looks great, Ellen. Good job, Paul. <sighs> Maybe you bring the hands down to the ground for standing split. If single leg stuff is hard, then it's probably the thing you should do a little bit more of. We stand on one leg every day when we walk. You can do some handstand hops here. And then here we go. Bring the right knee up into the chest as you come up to stand, which is hard. Right leg comes down. Cross the left leg over the right as you sit back into eagle. Bring it behind you for a curtsy. Ah, keep that low belly working. Left crosses over the right. Left leg comes behind the right. Left crosses on top. Here we go. Last one. Go ahead and sit down for seated twist. Right leg is on top. I will face you. Good. Let's go ahead and roll the ribs in one direction. If this still, if this feels clunky, you can also just do side bends back and forth. Go ahead, go the other direction. And just imagine from here, we're going into plank. So go ahead and turn to the left, step back into plank. Lower to the floor. Locust or bow. Engage the core and glutes, arms reach back. Remembering from this pose, we're immediately going into half moon on the right leg. So just imagine that real quick. And then hands come under the shoulders. Push up and back into down dog as you step the right foot forward. Lift the left hand and the left leg half moon. 
Left arm can reach up and over. Maybe on your exhale twice, you pull the left elbow and left knee together and reach them apart. This is hard stuff. Pull it in. Good. Reach it away. And then warrior two. Breathe in. Reverse. <sighs> Inhale. Right elbow to right thigh. Left arm reaches up and over. Go ahead and turn your chest towards the floor. Pyramid pose. Step your left foot in just a little bit. So when you're looking at me, kind of you can see that my feet are about hip distance. And I have a flat back. So that's what it looks like. Good. You can turn your feet inwards. Maybe exhale a few grievances. And then from here, turn your feet back to normal. We're almost done. Let's lower into dolphin. Push into the hands. Right leg lifts as you lower onto your elbows. You can just keep both feet down or you can hop off those left toes. Two more breaths. And then in your own way, come in to quadruped, barrel roll, left and right. Yeah, in dolphin, just remember that you should stay off your head. So your head is lifted and your shoulders doing most of the work. Good. And you've officially crushed it. <laughs> So come to a seated position before we go down for Shavasana. <sighs> and just feel how energy might be entering or exiting the body. You can roll front and back on the sits bones a few times, kind of finding out where your neutral spine is and even left and right. Does it feel more comfortable to have the right leg in front? Does it feel more comfortable to have the left leg in front? And then once you've found a stacked spine, let's take the hands to the ribs. Inhale, feel the ribs. Push our hands outward, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach the hands away and then draw the ribs back in. Ha. Inhale, feel the hands reach apart and come up because the ribs are expanding. Exhale, the hands draw back in and pull those ribs shut like a curtain. Last one, inhale, reach them up. Exhale, feel them draw together. Whew. Good, and then let's come on to the back. Bringing the knees into the chest. Take your hands to your occiput, which is where your hairline meets your neck, and just lightly draw it upwards to create some space in the neck before you lay it down on the mat. And then once you've placed it there, hug your right knee into the chest and let your left leg go long without that sacrum coming off of the mat. Hmm. Give your body permission to start to let go. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't keep the energy. You're both now stronger physically and mentally by creating these new movement patterns. Go ahead and slowly bend the left knee, bringing it into the chest grabbing a hold of that thigh and let your right leg go long. <sighs> Good, slowly bend the right knee, bring it back in. Bring the feet to the floor. Allow your knees to windshield, wipe left and right. Neutralizing anything that has kind of um, 
been holding you. And then you can stay here with your knees knocked in, feet wide, or extend the legs long on the mat. Hands can stay on the low belly or palms face up away from the body. As we take a breath in, and open the mouth and exhale and let go of anything that does not serve us. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth to relax the jaw. Let yourself absorb your practice just as you are, just as you have, just as you have arrived and also ended. Begin to slowly wiggle your fingers and toes, reintroducing small movements. Turning the head left and also right. Start to deepen your breath. Maybe reach your hands and fingers and toes in opposite directions. And then one at a time, bring your knees into your chest. In your own way, come on up to seated. There is no rush. Your practice meets you where you're at. Bring your hands to heart center, lightly pressing the palms to each other, putting this final piece of the puzzle together and ending our practice. May you go forth with new organized energy. May your puzzle pieces fall together as you move throughout the rest of your day. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Namaste. Yay, you did it. Thank you. It was not an easy class, so if you stuck with it, good job. Um, if when this class ends or like when you sign off, um, you can choose to follow me. I'm going to be doing a handstand workshop in the future, um, but also just to keep getting updates about when I teach. So if you have feedback, please let me know. Um, I also do private lessons if you're having something that's been bothering you. Thanks for joining.